channel check out where i am oh yes i'm in norway so guys i'm staying at the quality hotel in vorgenfoss in norway it is unbelievable check out this view so i thought well i'm gonna have to bring you a video from here so we're gonna do an inner thigh and cardio workout if you are not already subscribed to 30 day get fit the burn program the app everything has been updated i'm so excited so make sure all the details in the description below go and update your app go and update the desktop version you're going to be so stoked okay so i'm freezing let's get going so guys today we're going to be doing an inner thigh and cardio workout so we're going to start off and we're going to get this going all we're going to do is we're going to have our legs nice and wide and we're going to do a plie squat okay so just working those inner thighs getting nice and loose you can have your arms out to the side you can have them over the top of your head you can have them here so we just want to really bring everything nice and tight in those inner thighs and we're going to get some cardio in because i need to get my heart rate up because it's cold and also it's going to help us burn calories so cardio is going to help burn more cal calories during but strength training is going to burn more calories afterwards so that's why we do the mix of two so how are you feeling today? You feeling good? I want you to say you're feeling good even if you've had maybe a, a struggling day. We're gonna get through this together. You've just got 10 seconds left. So let's put those arms out to the side. Everything is straight down. That's it. So those glutes, nice squeeze as you get to the top in three, two, one. Okay, let's go into some jumps. So nice and lightly, we've just got 20 seconds of cardio and we've got 45 seconds of an exercise. So as soon as you need to catch your breath, no problem, we're gonna be going straight into another exercise. So we've got less than 10 seconds here. Keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a curtsy behind and then we're gonna kick out to the side. So small curtsy and then lift that leg up. Curtsy behind and extend. You're looking so good, guys. You can do this. Keep on breathing through every single exercise and make it happen. Whew. 45 seconds guys, just on each side. And then you are gonna be doing some cardio. I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna be doing next. Do you have any idea? You can keep doing it. Squeeze those glutes, lift that leg. 15 seconds left on this side. We're starting to get warmer. My feet are the things that feel really cold right now, but I'm gonna keep on going because we've only got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, in the middle, we're just gonna do jumping jacks. Oh, or as we like to call them, star jumps, jumping jacks, whatever you like. And I'm wearing a little bit of extra clothes today just to keep myself warm. That's it. We're gonna go on to the other side. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so here we go. Curtsy and extend. Keep that chest up for me and out to the side. So guys, if you wanna work out in home, keeping it nice and warm in your bedroom, that's all you have to do. If you want to take me outside, that's no problem too. And guys, the really cool thing about the app that's just been updated is that you can now see all of these workouts offline. So if you're traveling and you don't have access to internet, no problem. You can still get your workout in. Less than 20 seconds. Take it down. Extend that leg out. Work in those inner thighs. Are you feeling good, guys? I'm feeling so strong. I love working out with you. Let's keep it up. Five seconds left on this side back into those jumping jacks and let's go out to the side <sighs> modified just step out to the side no problem the main thing is is that I want you to keep your body moving <sighs> a few more three <sighs> two and one okay release down you're gonna put your hands at the top of your mat i'm gonna come up into a high plank and we're gonna do is extend one leg out to the side so you can either come down to your elbows or you can come up here onto your hands and we're just extending the leg out to the side. That's it, push down into those hands. Keep that leg nice and straight at the back. Modified, you're gonna take your knee down to the ground. And we're just gonna take it out on a diagonal. So to make it a little bit more challenging, it's gonna be uphill on that toe. 15 seconds left. Breathe through it, guys. A little bit of work in those shoulders as well. You can really feel in that inner thigh of your left leg. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna stay here and mountain climbers in the middle. Just a few mountain climbers, keep that heart rate up and we're going on to the other side. Push down in your hands for me. 10 seconds, how much do you want it? Let's keep going, we are halfway through our workout and you guys are kicking butt. Three, 
two, one. Okay, over to the other side. Lift that leg up. Breathe through it, guys. Remember, any time you can come down onto that knee and do the same thing. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna feel it a little bit more in that inner thigh. So squeeze that leg out. Pull your belly button in towards the spine. Make sure those hands are directly underneath your shoulders. You got this, guys. Keep pushing. You've got 20 seconds left. And breathe. Can you start to feel it? And that inside thigh. Oh yes, it's burning. That's what we ask for. Make sure that you hashtag, I can feel the burn, Rebecca, so I can find you guys on social media. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, take it into the middle. We're gonna bring for those last set of mountain climbers. Imagine that you're running up one of these mountains and you've gotta to get to the top because that's where the view is. It's just the same when you're working out. The view is gonna be at the end of the workout. Your results, three, two, one. Okay, come down onto your back and you're gonna lie all the way down. And you're gonna come up into a bridge and then we're gonna squeeze those knees together. So release those shoulders down, release your head down, push your hip up to the sky, those glutes up too. And all we're doing is bringing the knees to touch each other. That's it, push those hips up to the sky. Breathe for me guys, you can make this happen. How much do you want it? It's gonna be there guys, you just gotta keep on working. Yeah, that's it, lift those hips up a little bit higher to the sky. Bring those knees in, a light touch, and then out to the side. Three, two, one, a little bit of cardio. We're just gonna lift up that chest and then bring those knees in, kind of like a reverse mountain climber. That's it, so bring it in, squeeze. Okay, we're doing this guys, lift that chest up a little bit higher. Bring those feet, make them move a little bit faster for three, two, one. Okay, you're gonna stay here, and like we did at the beginning, you're gonna do a plie, and then point your toes at the top. So that's it, so working again, those inner thighs, those feet flexed, and we're just gonna do a reverse plie, lying down. That's it, push all the way up to the top, squeeze. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm feeling it. Those inner thighs are gonna be burning. We're gonna go back into that cardio. Remember those cycles that we just did? And we are gonna do them again, but we're gonna reverse it. Oh yeah, now we're gonna test our mind as well as our body. That's it. You're looking really strong, guys. 10 seconds left here. Really try and bring those knees down and then straighten them as you get to the top. Three, two, give me one more, squeeze. Okay, again, let's do those cycles. We're gonna go around the other way. It's kind of like you're backpedaling. <laughs> That's it, just 14 seconds left here. <sighs> Run it, guys, as fast as you can. Let's pump it up for the last five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna lie on your side and we're gonna lift the leg up and down. So this front foot, okay, is gonna come over the top and we're just gonna lift up and down. Keep squeezing. <sighs> nice and simple, guys. You've got this. How much do you want to feel that burn in your thighs? How much do you want to see the difference? You've just got to keep on moving. That's it. Up and down, that elbow's directly underneath the shoulder. And I'm just feeling it in that inside thigh, guys. Yes, as well as some cardio. We're going to switch over to the other side. Give me a few more here. We've only got 60 seconds left to go in this workout. We're gonna do the other side, a little bit of cardio, and then you are done for the day. Okay, we're gonna bring it back over to the other side. We're gonna do our cardio right at the end. So how we do it is that back leg comes over the front. You're gonna have your elbow directly underneath here, and we're gonna lift that bottom leg up. So depending on how flexible you are, you, this foot might be on a heel, or you might be flat all the way down. So that's it, let's lift it up. 40 seconds, 45 seconds left to go. We're gonna do a few jumping jacks to stand up and just get that blood circulation going so that you're having one more drop of sweat before I leave you for the day. Now guys, if you're not seeing results, I'm gonna let you into a big secret. It's 80% nutrition and 20% is the fitness and 100% is your mindset. So if you're not seeing results, I highly suggest maybe just jumping on one of my nutrition plans. We have one-on-one -on -one coaches, amazing people to help you. And uh, you're gonna get a great community. We have a live chat. I talk to all my clients, so much fun. 
That's it, how's that inside thigh feeling? That's it, try and stay onto that hip, that elbow underneath your shoulder. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Let's stand up for the final time. Wiggle those toes a little bit. We're gonna come all the way up to standing. Whew. And let's just do 10 jumping. That's it, let's lift it up. 40 seconds, 45 seconds left to go. We're gonna do a few jumping jacks to stand up and just get that blood circulation going so that you're having one more drop of sweat before I leave you for the day. Now guys, if you're not seeing results, I'm gonna let you into a big secret. It's 80% nutrition and 20% is the fitness and 100% is your mindset. So if you're not seeing results, I highly suggest maybe just jumping on one of my nutrition plans. We have one-on-one -on -one coaches, amazing people to help you. And uh, you're gonna get a great community. We have a live chat. I talk to all my clients, so much fun. That's it, how's that inside thigh feeling? That's it, try and stay onto that hip, that elbow underneath your shoulder. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Let's stand up for the final time. Wiggle those toes a little bit. We're gonna come all the way up to standing. Whew. And let's just do 10 jumping jacks to finish. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release down. Oh my goodness, guys, you absolutely crushed it today. Make sure you check out the rest of my inner thigh workouts. Of course, if you are doing 30 day, get fit. And then like a 15 second rest. So first of all, the first exercise we're gonna do is we're just gonna take, oh, I just completely kicked Alfie. We are gonna take this across. I'm so sorry, Alfie. That's it. So we're going to swing the arms across. That has never happened before. I'm so sorry. I literally just kicked my dog and uh, I didn't know he was going to come through. So no problem. You see, guys, if you've got kids, if you've got babies, things can happen all the time that throw you off. But we are just going to keep going. And anyway, so we're going to take out the opposite arm, so opposite leg. Squish that across. We're going to be working those lower abs, getting some nice core workout in and also working those hips as well. That's it, take it across. And guys, if you don't want to use weights for this workout, no problem, but I highly suggest you do to get a little bit more resistance. Okay, we're gonna come down to the ground. Sorry, Alfie, he's actually made a little nest on my mat as well. So we're gonna come all the way down. And what you're gonna do for this exercise is you're gonna push up, okay? You're gonna come all the way up to the top and then squeeze as well, okay? So three, two, one, let's go. So take it down, squeeze up all the way and lift up to the top, yes. That's it, we're gonna be really working that core today. Lower abs, whoo, all the way through to the upper abs and those hips as well, and absolutely crushing it with those weights. So that's it, so take it nice and slow down, push those weights up, squeeze those abs into the ground, lift up and extend through. Whoo, yes, we're gonna burn it, guys. And if you do not already know, weights, they are gonna just increase a little bit more resistance. It's gonna help to burn more calories. And those abs, guys, I'm gonna tell you now, I'll let you into a secret. They are made in the kitchen. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, well now the exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna hold those weights up in front of here, extend. You're gonna extend those legs down and you're gonna extend the arms back at the same time, okay? So just practice here. Three, two, one, let's get going. So squeeze your abs underneath, tuck them down, and then slowly bring your legs down to the ground and then your arms at the same time and bring it all the way back in. Any time that your back starts to come off the ground, I want you to stop and then bring it up to the top. So maybe you wanna hold your weights down here and work on this part first. So squeezing everything, making sure that back stays on the ground. And then you can start to add in those weights over the top of your head. And I just do not wanna see any gap between your back and the mat, okay? That's the most important thing. So even if you come down to right here, fantastic. That's gonna make sure that you are working your abs and not your back. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna come onto our side, working a little bit of those hips now, okay? So work in this area here, some cardio is gonna be great for that as well, but we're gonna keep that heart rate up. You're gonna put your weight on the side, 
and we're just gonna lift up and down, okay? So those glute area, that whole side, just working on those hips and increasing those abs. So yeah, guys, abs are made in the kitchen. And if you do need any one-on-one -on -one coaching, all you gotta do is click on the link below my nutrition plan. You get one of my amazing coaches, or you can have me, um, and it's gonna give you everything that you need to get amazing results. Because those abs, guys, they are made in the kitchen. So that's it, so squeeze up and down, and that's it. Pull that core in nice and tight, and just keep breathing through this. You are looking so good, guys. We're gonna go over to the other side. You can start to feel this in these glutes. You're gonna start to feel it in the side of those hips. And keep squeezing that leg up and down. Three, two, one. Okay, take it over to the other side. Just like we did on the first side, you can pop that weight on top. If you wanna just relax that weight, not have it, no problem. And we're gonna lift up again in three, two, one. Let's go. Squeeze it up. Just 45 seconds. We're gonna keep going through this workout, guys. You're gonna get amazing results when you keep on going. Consistency is key with everything. And those days where you feel like quitting, you feel like stop, you know, you don't wanna do anymore, they're the days that you have to keep on powering through because it's the results. The results are gonna happen when you stay consistent, when you stay the plan. Okay, 20 seconds left here. Start to feel it in those hips. Starting to feel it in that glute as well. Try and keep that chest lifted, that elbow di directly underneath your shoulder. And let's go for another five, four, three, two, one. Okay, holding on to those weights. We are gonna go in two. We're gonna cross down. We're gonna extend and then bring it back together, okay? So Russian twist, side to side, and then extend your legs forward. And let's go. So here we're working those obliques and then we're also working the lower part of our abs. Extend all the way through and take it down either side. Oh yes. You can start to feel the ab burn, right? I know, I can feel it too. Take it across and extend all the way through. Whew. What are you guys looking to achieve from this? Like, what is the reason, what is your why that you're starting this workout? Because when you know why you've started something, it's gonna be so much easier to continue and to keep on going and to finish. So figure out what that why is. Less than 10 seconds to go here. Keep squeezing. Two and one. Okay, we're gonna come up to standing, working a little bit more on those hips, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna crunch out to the side. So weights are up here. You're gonna squeeze in and extend and then take it over to the other side. Are you ready? Weights up and let's go. So just crunch. And we're gonna work in a little bit of cardio here as well. We're keeping the tempo nice and high. So most of this is, you know, weight exercises. We're getting that heart rate up as well. And it's gonna really help us woo, in burning that extra fat and burning off those calories. So important guys is what you eat before, what you have during and after you work out. I cannot stress enough the importance of nutrition. <sighs> Having a post recovery shake to repair your muscles. You can get mine on my nutrition program. I've been using it for the last five years. It's incredible. Okay, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, great job. We're gonna hold it here into a nice wide, Okay, low squat. Okay, and we're just gonna go from side to side. So again, working on those hips, holding that core. So grab those weights, sink nice and low, and let's sway from side to side. <sighs> working the outside here, really push down those heels into your mat, push your knees out to the side, and you'll start to feel the outside of your, your glute, the outside of your leg really working. 30 seconds, can we get a little bit lower? Oh yes, and we're gonna take it back down to the ground and keep busting out some moves on those abs. Yes. 20 seconds left to go from side to side. Keep that chest up. Let's take it a little bit lower. Woo, and let's smile through this. How much do you want it? Can you get lower? Can you keep persevering? Are you gonna hold on to your weight for three, two, one? Okay, we're gonna come down to the ground you're gonna come up into a high plank, okay? And you're just gonna pull.
here and squeeze, okay? So stretch out those legs a little bit, wiggle them, and let's go. So hold on to that core, and it's gonna add in a tilt forwards and backwards, okay? So two rows, take your time with this, go forwards and backwards. Now anytime you need to come down to your knees, same thing, squeeze, and then you're just gonna go forwards, back. So squeeze into those elbows. You're gonna rock a little bit forward to engage those ab muscles and bring it back. Two rows. Let's go, guys. Pick up that pace. Stay with me. Forwards and backwards. And then getting back into the center for when you go back into those rows. Can you feel those abs working? Tilt forwards and backwards and release down to the ground. Okay, you're gonna spin over onto your booties. We are gonna lift those weights all the way up to the sky and we are gonna do a full sit up, okay? And then you're gonna crunch two, three, all the way down. Let's go, all the way up, crunch, crunch, slowly down. Keep those arms up into the air. Crunch twice, all the way down. If you don't have the weights in your hand, I still want you to have your arms up and I still want you to keep breathing, keep smiling through this, and know that you can absolutely do this. All the way up. We've got one more exercise left after this, and then we're gonna take it into our next round. Three, all the way up. Woo! Take it down and squeeze. So these little like pulses on the way down, you wanna think about them as someone just kind of punching you in the chest. Okay, we are going to, we're gonna cross all the way and then we're gonna come down to halfway, okay? So not all the way, two crosses and then come down. If your weights aren't heavy enough, you guys need to increase them because this should be burning by now. Take it halfway and across, halfway down and across. That's it guys, keep smiling, keep that chest lifted, try and keep those feet on the ground. You might need to, if you've got like a sofa or something, you can like kind of tuck your feet underneath the sofa. That sometimes helps in holding yourself up. My chest is lifted. Give it some willy as you really make those punches happen. Take it across and down. Can you get a little bit lower for me? That's it, come on guys. The lower that you go, the more that you're gonna feel it. More aggression in those punches. Three, two, one, woo, fantastic job guys. You guys absolutely. Hey guys, what's up? It's Rebecca Louise. Welcome to my channel. This is all about fitness, health, and living your best life. So every week we have a new workout and also a wake up Wednesday to make sure that you guys are getting everything from health, fitness, motivation, and just feeling healthy and happy. Okay, so today we are gonna do an arm workout with no weight. And if you want the full length workout of this, make sure you head on over to my burn program. All the details in the description below. You're gonna get daily workouts that are exclusive. You're gonna get daily meal plans. You're gonna get gamification. So many fun things that you can win just by being part of the app. It's available on iOS, Android, and on the desktop version as well. So Penny is with me today. Hey, Penny girl. And uh, today we're gonna do our arm workout with no weight. So let's get started. We are going to first of all start up. We're gonna start off down on the ground, in fact, actually, Penny. So I'm actually gonna move you here. Uh, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna have those arms underneath the shoulders. We're gonna go up and we're gonna dip up and down. Okay, so squeeze those elbows back together. And remember, we're not moving this up and down. Everything is in the arms because guess what? It's an arm workout. And you're gonna get some shoulders, you're gonna get a little bit of back, a little bit of chest, but we really are focused on those arms. And we're not gonna use weights. If you do wanna add in weights to this workout, you can, okay, if you wanna push yourself a little bit further. But this is just a workout, just to kind of strengthen a little bit of those arms, but we don't have to use weights. So we're gonna do 30 seconds, we're gonna do 45 seconds of each exercise, and we're gonna do it three times through, okay? So we're gonna get stronger each time, and then you're gonna have a nice little 15 second rest in between. And talking of rest, you've got your first one right here. 
So we can just shake out those arms. And if you're doing my burn program, then you're gonna get the warm up and the cool down video as well, which is also exclusive. Uh, so make sure that you have done that before this. Okay, we're gonna go into our second set, hands underneath. Let's pop up and let's go up and down. So I'm really focused here on keeping my elbows in towards each other, okay? So they're not going out to the side, they're going straight back. My chest is up and I'm extending my arms all the way to the top. So all the way up and then take it down nice and slow. That's it, so just up and down. Oh, start to really feel it in those triceps, huh? I know. We are gonna feel the burn all the way through this workout. And guys, we've got so many others out there too. So if you wanna work on your abs, if you wanna work on your legs, everything is there. We've got so many different playlists. And it's really, really awesome because in the burn program, it gives you a different workout to do each day and the perfect amount of rest in between each body part. Okay, we have got our second rest. Okay, how are we feeling? We, we deserve this rest in between, in between for sure, don't we, Penny? Yes, yeah, see, look, she's already yawning. She wants that rest. Uh, so shake out your arms and we're gonna go into our last set for this. So hands underneath in three, two, one, up we go. Okay, really make sure that you're not moving your hips up and down, everything is in your arms. Push all of your fingers nice and flat into the ground and take it nice and slow. We want everything to be controlled. You see, we're not even using weight and we can feel this. That's why we're doing this a few times through because we're not using the weights. We wanna keep working that same muscle to maximize that feeling, to feel that burn. And of course, you guys can hashtag, I can feel the burn, Rebecca. I love it. I think we're almost up to 10,000 of those hashtags now on Instagram. That's it. So squeeze and keep breathing throughout this. So you, when you're doing exercise, it's so important that we sometimes forget to breathe. Okay, and then we stand up and we get super dizzy. So three, two, one. Okay, okay, take it down. We're gonna roll onto our front and we're going to go into a high to low plank, okay? So Penny, uh, if you don't mind, I might, might get you in the way just slightly here. So we're gonna come up here and then we're just gonna take it down, okay? So try and alternate, so down and then the other side. That's it, take it down nice and slow. We don't have to go fast in this. Okay, it's everything is about being super controlled. So you're just going up to that high push up and then all the way down to that high low plank. And if you want to, you can come down to your knees, okay? This is gonna be the modified version or the layer, another layer. Don't even like to call it modified. It's just a different option. So whether you're at right now, maybe you've just done arms and shoulders yesterday and you're like, oh my goodness, this is tough, but you still wanna get through it, you can do it on your knees. Okay, 10 seconds left here. That's it, squeeze that ab muscle too, and you can lower it down. Okay, shake out those arms. Let's just give it a little stretch. Oh, take it across one side, and then the other. Just like wiggle it out a little bit. Guys, this one, we're gonna get through it two more times, and then you're gonna get a little bit of a rest on this tricep muscle. So let's take it down again. Down we go, and then up. Just keep thinking, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do one more and then alternate too. So if you've gone down on your right the whole time, let's try and take it down on the left. Squeeze those abs. If you need to have a slight bend in your knee to make sure that your knees are not locked out. Try and keep everything nice and still. I know that your hips are gonna move a little bit, but try and keep it as controlled as you can. Okay, we've got less than 15 seconds. Push it up, 10 seconds to go. That's it guys, you've got this. Give me one more, down and up. Okay, down on those knees. Wiggle out those arms again. I know, this is the last time. You're gonna feel that burn, but I promise you, this is where those results are gonna come in. So let's go out for our last rep. Shake it out. Let's come nice and high. And last time guys, all the way down. Just keep breathing through it. Take your time. There's no need to rush. You can do this in your own time. You can follow me, stay with my pace, or go faster, slower, or of course, drop down to your knees. That's it. Just keep thinking, I'm gonna do this because I want the results. And with consistency, with dedication, commitment, you are going to get there. Okay, we've got 15 seconds left. Can you give me three more? Just think about it. Yes, two. And let's do one more together. Push it all the way up and take it down. 
Nice job. Okay, we're going to come up to standing. I'm going to go some of my favorite arm circles. So all the way up, and you're going to have your arms out to the side, and we're just going to do nice circles going backwards. Now, already your arms should be engaged, right? Already you're feeling it. That burn is kicking in, and now we're just going to, oh, we're going to enjoy this. So we're doing arm circles going backwards, 45 seconds, okay? We've already done 10 seconds, okay? So we are on our way to completing. And then you're gonna be able to release your arms down by wanting to just keep circling that arm. And if you need to, kind of walk around, maybe have a chat with somebody, maybe you're doing this with a friend, maybe you're doing this with a partner. Okay, just keep those arm circles going. Whoo, lift that chest up. Give me a smile because it's not that bad. You're gonna get through it. You've got 10 seconds. Very, very small circles. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can release them down. Okay, take a sip of water. Take, wipe that sweat off your face. Hydrate. Maybe just stretch out your arms, shake them out a little bit. And then we're going to go into the next one. We're going to put our arms out to the side and we're going to go forward circles. Again, nice and tiny circles. So arms out and let's go. Oh, it felt good. That 15 second rest, right? It felt really good. That's what we're doing it for. We are working really hard in that, 50, that 45 seconds to reward ourselves with that 15 second rest. And remember, we're working harder more than we're giving our body the rest, okay? Because you don't wanna have it the other way around. You don't wanna be having more rest and doing less work, okay? You get to earn the rest by doing the work. And less than 20 seconds left to go, that's it. Whew, circles. You start to kick in, right? Can you feel that? It's crazy, we're not even using any weights. If you're using weights with this circles, well, you guys are incredible. You are stronger than I am. And let's keep going for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, release it down. Okay, we got one more set of arm circles to go. Okay, so just shake it out. We're gonna do small pulses up, okay? Just very, very lightly. And we're gonna hold those arms out for 45 seconds. So shake it out, get focused. And arms out to the side, and we're gonna go up and down. Woo, you can start to engage it in another muscle. You can start to feel it elsewhere. Kind of giving your arms a bit of a rest when you're doing it in different directions. So we're gonna squeeze those abs in. Okay, tuck that, that belly underneath. Tuck in that pelvis under, slight bend in the knees. Okay, just helps with this position, making sure that we're not arched. That's it, just securing our body, making it, woo, so that we don't injure ourselves. Arms nice and straight, and pulse up and down. Yes, okay, we've got 15 seconds left to go. I know it's burning, but just, you've got this. It's 15 seconds. That's no time at all. Okay, all the way out. And we have five, four, three, two, one. Okay, those arms, how are we feeling? We're gonna come down to the ground this time, okay? We're gonna have it, our arms as wide as our mat, if not wider, and you're gonna do a push-up all the way down, okay? So I'm gonna start on my knees. So you're gonna go all the way down to the ground and then up, okay? And you're gonna put your arms nice and wide and then bring it up together. Don't cross your feet here, okay? Just make sure that it's nice and loose, that you've got both feet here and you're going straight down and then squeeze up. So take your time on this, okay? And we're in no rush. Just do as many as you can in the 45 seconds and then we're gonna have that rest. And maybe, you know, you come down, you're doing these all on your toes, fantastic. Okay, it doesn't matter where you're at right now. It just matters that you keep on going, you keep on pushing through. So keep that head in line with your chest, it's in line with your back. If you're going too low and everything is out of place, then just come up a little bit higher. Give me one more and squeeze. Okay, that's it. Shake out those arms, maybe rotate those shoulders. A great workout that we actually have up exclusively in the app is one for posture. Um, Sundays is our day of meditation, of posture, of just stretching, and people are loving those workouts. Ready, let's go for our second round. So if you want to, I can't actually go on my toes because Penny's right there, so that is my reason. <laughs> so that's it, so squeeze up here, and then take it nice and slow, and bring it up to Okay, so sorry about the shaking, but power had just gone out because when I was checking my iPad, I noticed that there was um, no Wi-Fi signal to begin with and that I was sort of able to cross. And my battery wasn't charging because I had my iPad on charge as I've been doing this workout. Because I, I need to, I usually use my phone to do this, but to um, follow along a tutorial, but in this case I need to use my iPad for the sake of 
using my phone to record. The power had just gone out, but I don't know if it's out in the street or if it's just our house. Either way, my dad's going to check in a minute. So I got through the first 19 or so seconds of push-ups. Yes, full body push-ups. I now have the confidence to do them. Not full body push-ups, like all the way down to the ground and back up again. For a beginner in full push-up mode, yes, I'm proud of myself for getting down again being able to get that far. Anyway, I'm gonna double check for the power and then whether or not I'll be able to, I mean, I can still do the push-ups. I mean, you saw me doing push-ups anyway, so I'm just gonna see what's left of the workout and then I can just probably record myself doing the rest. I don't actually have to wait for YouTube to kick back in. Okay, just viewed the rest of the um, video. Don't at my house how wet I am, but just viewed the rest of the video and as it turns out, there's three rounds of push-ups, so I'll just put a timer on my iPad and then just do push-ups um, for 45 more seconds two more times. I don't know when the internet's gonna, uh, not the internet alone, but when power is gonna come back on, if it's between the streets problem or our problem, either way. My iPad doesn't do seconds in timer, so I'm just going to have to guess. <laughs> and I will not just put like three push-ups and say, oh, that's 45 minutes done. Obviously it's not, so basically I will do as many as I can for the remaining two and a half rounds. Might as well just look at recording time. Right? Yeah. Okay, so technical difficulty, Wi-Fi pulls through the internet and the power pulls through, etc. But my iPad was having a little bit of difficulty, so I had to switch the whole thing off and back on again. And we're good to go. To the top. Maybe take it through a few breaths at the top until you go down onto your second one. And then here you go. Just take your time. That's it. And you really want to make sure that you're breathing. Inhale and exhale so that we're getting that oxygen to the muscle. And it's not just breathing, okay? Maybe we're taking some water, but we need electrolytes in that water. We need something that's gonna deliver the water to the muscles quick. Less than 10 seconds. All the way up to the top. Give me one more. And squeeze, okay. Let's just stretch that out. You can go into that child's pose. Stretch your arms in front. We've got one more set of this. Oh, so how those shoulders are starting to engage as well. We're getting a whole arm workout in. So. Let's take it all the way down to the ground. And pull that belly button in, and down we go. Push up. And each time you're gonna feel that as you start each round, you feel really strong. And then, you know, by the first time you've done it, you're like, oh, I got through it nice and easy. The second time you're like, wow, I got to like 30 seconds. And then the last time you got to like 20 seconds. And that's why it's really good to do these rounds because we are pushing our body and then we're tiring it and giving it that rest to go again. 20 seconds. That's it guys, come on, just give me a few more. Try and get a little bit lower on these last 15 seconds. Give me two more, all the way down. Push it up, and one more. Take it down guys, and squeeze all the way up to the top. And we're gonna come back up to standing, and we have finished that workout there. Wow, oh my goodness, that went so fast. So we're no longer living in right near a train station, especially the two to five minute distance. As I was saying, that's definitely the most amount of push ups I've done. I am still obviously improving, but I'm definitely proud of myself for being able to do that much. Sure, I'm not chest down to the ground and back up again, but for the most part, I am still doing full body push ups technically. Just the beginner stages of full body, and I'm still proud. Now to hibernate. But Shannon, it's summer. Precisely. <laughs>